together, sharing stories, helping and supporting each other, and connecting. And they called an ambulance straight away. They took me to hospital, my leg started turning purple, um, and they told my parents, you know, it's a sign that you bid her your farewells. I'm so, I still get emotional talking about it because, yeah, you know, I'm so close to losing what I have now. <laughs> 15 years have passed. Um, however, um, as an effect of meningitis, I lost both my legs parts of my fingers and also my kidney function. And I've been living with my uh, father's kidney for the past 10 years. Well, first of all, um, there's so many things that have happened in my life that um, are just beyond understanding. 16 years ago, I was coming out of an abusive marriage. I was living in London. Um, I was a cokehead. I was hooked on antidepressants, alcohol, cigarettes, I was dealing with, you know, thousands of you know, pounds worth of debt and had no idea where my future was going to take me. 16 years ago, that was a point where I said, I had to make a choice. Literally jump off the six-story windowsill or was I going to take my choice as life? And I chose life. If you said to me 15 or 16 years ago that this is where I'd be living, this is what I'd be doing, and I'd have gone through the journey that I've been through since then, I just wouldn't have believed you. I grew up in a family where things get tough, and that's why my quote, if you want something, go get it. It's, I think everything in life is about what you do with it. We have no control over what happens to us, unfortunately. I've been through turmoil in my life and life-changing moments. I had it all and I worked very hard. It was right at the pinnacle. I just gave birth, I had twins, and a big tragedy hit us. I was in the dark for many years. I was a gypsy almost for a whole year. I couldn't find myself. I shaved my hair, I looked at the mirror every day. The lotus flower is one of the most beautiful, strongest, most colorful flowers there is. And it grows on dirt. I, uh, I'm not a big fan of tattoos, but precisely for the point, I tattooed the lotus flower on my back to remind me and those that know me, including my children, that no matter what happens to your life, you will always rise above it. I think it was quite serendipitous, my, my path, you know, choosing this artistic career, I think. I joke about it having been decided for me, really, by my family. I'd be constantly asking myself, do you want this? But it is tough. It is really tough. I could no longer afford to continue studying in the UK. When I had come down to Malta, I don't think there wasn't even a fine art course in Malta at the time. So I was considering, OK, what else could I go into? Thank you.